everybody. Uh, today I'm going to give a brief overview of the um, Recordine Acoustics uh, Toolkit and just I'll quickly introduce the, the um, application and then the model that, um, that you'll be working on. Um, so just to start out with, um, I know that most of you uh, well, you should have received an email um, about where to download the um, files uh, for the necessary for the tutorial. Um, and actually, if you haven't gotten that email yet, you could actually just go to um, your computer. Uh, these are, should all be located locally on your computer um, because they were included with the uh, Recordine V9 R3 installation. Um, so this is the location here, the program files, function bay, incorporated, Recordine v 9 R3. Um, and so if you go to this directory, um, you'll actually see two RFI files that I did not include in the original zip file that uh, Shanna mailed out. Um, and then, but if you haven't gotten her email, you can also just go ahead and grab, there's a PDF file for the tutorial itself, and there's a, a Recordine model to start out with. So those are all the necessary files you'll need. I can actually just uh, bring that up really quick. Um, so you wanna grab basically everything except the Korean, uh, tutorial, unless you want to do that in Korean. Um, so, jumping back to my, so what, what you'll want to do, I mean, just to clarify, you'll, you'll probably want to copy all the files here and just copy it to some directory under your, your documents. So you have, you know, write permissions to uh, perform the simulation. So once you uh, grab all those files, um, the starting model will be um, a model of a uh, vibrating transmission. And this is just showing an animation of uh, what, what it does. Um, it's just a simply a rigid body model. And um, everything here is connected with, with bushings. So You've got this housing unit here, um, which is connected to ground with four bushings. And then you have um, this rotating shaft. Nelson, we lost you. Okay. I'm sorry? Uh, for uh, like for a minute or two, we we'll, we'll lost you. We lost oh. the, 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 the audio. Oh, the audio, okay. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, so I'll just quickly go through again what I was um, what I'm saying. Um, the tutorial starts with a rigid body model of a um, vibrating of a transmission, and um, so you, we just have this rotating shaft here that um, turns this uh, oscillating mass, and this is um, a rigid body model. Um, Everything's modeled as rigid bodies, including this housing here. And everything is connected with bushings. So you've got four bushings connecting the housing to ground. And then bushings between, uh, between the shaft and the outer race of these bearings. And then the bearings are actually, um, uh, making contact with the housing. And so what, what you're seeing in the animation here are the um, force display arrows for those contacts. And so, you know, you can see as the shaft is rotating, the, the force, the contact force is contacting different sides of the um, surface that it's uh, contacting. So that's so that contact is between this outer race of the bearing and the uh, the housing. 
So the next step um, will be to then convert the housing to a uh, flexible body. And so we're actually using RFlex here in this uh, particular example, but you could also use um, FFlex as well to model the housing as uh, flexible. And so what we're seeing here is um, a contour plot of von Mises stress. And uh, you know some of the higher values are occurring up here at this corner um, and down here as well. Um, but the area that we're gonna focus on for acoustics is uh, in the center here. So, in order to perform the um, acoustics calculations, um, what we're going to do is calculate the equivalent radiated, radiated power, or ERP for short. And this is a measure of the sound emitted for any given surface. And um, so, with a flexible body modeled. Um, with R flex or F flex, what we can do is we have um, we can define the surface with a patch set, and then because it's the surface is des discretized, what we're um, going to do is basically uh, well, what the uh, toolkit does um, is that it uh, looks at the velocity, uh, the normal velocity of each of these. Um, elements. It uh, uses that in the calculation along with the area of each element in order to determine the uh, um, ERP of that element at any given time. Um, so the equation also takes into account the radiation loss factor, the um, sound velocity, and the air density as well. So once we've simulated the RFlex model, then, then we can use the post-processing, um, the acoustics post-processing tool to then do some additional calculations. And after you do that, then the results will appear like this. So we've just created a, a face surface for just that front face of the housing. Um, but, you know, if you're curious, you can go through the tutorial procedure and select some, you know, the entire surface or, you know, whatever you feel curious about. Um, and so we're seeing basically there's a kind of this, you know, section, this region in the middle, which is um, where most of the sound is being emitted from. And then some additional results that are available um, include uh, you can have plots of the uh, ERP magnitude versus the frequency. So this is um, like a, an FFT analysis that's been performed. And in order to determine where the peak frequencies are, um, another set of results that you can look at is you can view the ERP in uh, within the time domain. And so you can see that here it's sort of oscillating at the same frequency as the um, oscillation of the that mass. Um, and, and here what we've also done with, um, if you use an RFlex body, you can then um, quantify uh, the contributions of the, the certain modes of that RFlex body to the total ERP. And so in this example, you can see that uh, the total ERP is shown by the blue, blue curve. And then the first mode, um, it, well, the first six modes are kind of the free body modes. So the, the uh, first real vibrational mode is mode seven. And, and we can see that that's really contributing to the most, uh, to the total ERP. And then as you move on to the 
next modes, uh, the higher modes there uh, um, have a smaller contribution. Um, and then I think as the last step, there's um, an alternative design. So uh, um, there should be another RFI file that you can just import as a, another RFlex body where they've modified the design and then you can repeat the steps and see how um, it how it's affected the results. 